How many people dream of the day of being able to buy a boat and sail away? Most people wait decades for this, but in this week's episode, we introduce you to an inspirational young couple who have managed to do this at the age of only 25. So stay tuned and find out how they did it. Okay guys, so today we are having an interview with a, a great couple who ha have done really exciting stuff in their lives because at the age of 25, these guys made the decision to get a boat and live the life while doing the work instead of living the life and then going sailing at the end. Scott, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Kylie, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Tell us about how you came to make the decision to live on a boat as a lifestyle choice. Yeah, okay. To give a little bit of backstory, we've kind of always had this sort of love for traveling and going different places and sort of experiencing um, different things. Pretty much any chance we got, we were on a plane going somewhere, booking cheap flights wherever sure. we could find. Um, and we always managed to kind of fit in the travels and the work, and mm. um, but always had that thirst yeah, for exploration. Yeah. So. And so when we went to, when the pandemic started, we actually um, our lease ended and we went to. Hawaii for three months, right. um, which was incredible. Um, the beaches there were awesome. We met, we made friends, but we were sitting on the beach one day because we kind of always had this envisionment that oh, we would buy property on an island mm -hmm. and that's kind of what would happen. That would be our yeah. life. And we were sitting on the beach, kind of thinking about well, could we see ourselves living here for the next five years or ten years or you know some longer period of time? Yeah. And mm -hmm. we pretty quickly realized that no we have too many places to go see uh -huh. and we just we can't settle down uh -huh. so once we realized that we thought well it's not it's not maui that's the problem it's the one place that's the problem uh -huh. Uh -huh. so we immediately uh searched for if people ever scuba dive from a sailboat because uh -huh. we really love diving and so we just kind of started researching more about full-time liveaboards and had what? you ever been sailing before the thought of living on a boat I had a few times for yeah. some weekends. Yeah, um, and I actually hadn't like been sailing. Like keel boats or yeah, dinghy? Yeah, Manahal. Oh, Manahal. Manahal. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I spent like a lot of my childhood on a like pleasure oh. boat, wakeboarding and stuff, uh -huh. but never uh -huh. actually, you know, living on a boat uh -huh. or sailing. Yeah, uh -huh. so it's kind of. But we were both pretty into it immediately. I don't even know who. So what was your first experience yeah. then together? If you'd already done some sailing, you knew kind of what it was like. Mm -hmm. What What was your first sail? Um, so we had already actually had a trip planned um, sailing before we kind of had the idea mm -hmm. in Greece, right. but then it ended up getting canceled because of COVID, oh, okay. so it never actually happened. And so in August of 2021, yeah. we went to the Keys, uh, the Florida Keys, and we did our sailing courses, kind of ASA 101, 103, and 104, just to kind of verify, to test out the test waters. Out the waters okay. yeah. Make sure oh, so you, that did, it was, you did the course as an experience to know what yeah. sailing was like. Yeah, yeah. before right, we okay. really committed to the whole buying a boat process, oh, yeah, we absolutely. wanted to make sure that, you know. Yeah. It was funny, too, yeah. because during the course, um, our captain and instructor asked us, why are you learning to sail? Because <laughs> a lot of people do 101, and then a year later they do 103, yeah. and we just yeah. kind of, you know, did back-to-back -back yeah. over yeah. the course of a month. And uh, we told him, well, we're thinking of buying a boat and living on it. And he said, Guys, that's a great idea. <laughs> I think that's awesome. So yeah. it was really good to be validated. Because uh -huh. we kind of expected, a, oh, okay, yeah, like, uh, you was, guys are a little wild to yeah. just you know, <laughs> start. start living on a boat. It was a little funny, too, because we both kind of sat there and looked at each other like, should, should, should we, we uh, tell him? Uh -huh. like, <laughs> do we be fully honest right uh -huh. here? <laughs> and we yeah. did, and it was great because yeah. we really got to cater the course to our needs, needs of yeah. like thinking that we might live on a boat. Yeah. 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 You did the courses, mm -hmm. you got the qualification. Like, did you get do some more sailing to see what it was like living on a boat? That, that was enough. No. Like, yeah, so month. we had been researching the whole boat idea for multiple months yeah. at that point and we kind of narrowed down a couple of the boats we were really interested uh -huh. in, yeah. which were Leopard 40 and, and Lagoon, Lagoon 42, 42 were the main right. two yeah. candidates. Yeah. We, um, we really wanted a boat since we were new to pretty much all of the systems on yeah, board we yeah. wanted a boat that was pretty um simple like 
well used. There were a lot of users uh, of it, you yeah. know, not a like specialized car, you know, like a yeah. Toyota. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something where you could actually look at forums and get, get useful help. information yeah. and yeah. help from people. Yeah. We had been researching for many months, and then we did the sailing um, courses, and we thought this is really great. Like, yeah, I think this is yeah, this is the right path for us. Uh -huh. Yeah, and the the charter trip that was canceled the year before ended up being rescheduled for September of 2021. 2021. Yeah. Um, so yeah. we went on that trip and in the middle of that we were getting really close to finding a boat. Uh, well no we yeah. had already found the boat yeah. but we were getting close to finalizing it because yeah. right before the sailing trip we had went uh, to visit this boat actually and right. taken pictures and everything and the survey was planned for after the sailing trip yeah. like immediately the day after Is that right? okay. we got back from Greece. And yeah. Um, yeah, and it was funny too because the sellers kind of joked with us, um, like, you know, oh man, this is a real test of how much you like sailing. <laughs> and then we kind of made the joke that it was a monohull, so if it didn't go well, you know, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Um, but it yeah. went amazing. We loved our, our boat that we were on over okay. in Greece. Yeah. The monohull was fun, but back from and Greece. And if, if you enjoyed monohull, pfft. Catamarans are easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We flew back from Greece and then we drove pretty much all night. And we got to Charleston where we got this boat yeah. to do the survey. Yeah. And yeah. the survey went well. Really and, well and, and then you just, just kind of moved forward. We yeah. did, yeah. Wow. So, that's, so you bought the boat, you owned the boat in September? Yep, yeah. September 2021. A year ago. Ago. Oh, four months ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Obviously, this was all in the middle of COVID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And prices of secondhand boats were also quite high. Was it already high at that stage? Or? Um. It had gone up. It had yeah. gone up. I mean, when yeah. we started researching um, these boats, we were looking in about November of 2020. The good news is we had been looking really consistently for months and months and months. So yeah. we yeah. kind of knew where the market was and yeah. um, what yeah. kind of boats there were. But this was a really great um, boat that was in great condition. Uh -huh. Lots of yeah. um, lots of full time upgrades, upgrades and people yeah. who were living on it previously right, okay, right. so a lot of the things that we would have wanted to do were done Already, to this yeah, boat yeah, which was really yeah. nice for us being new to uh -huh. sailing in general is nice to not have to spend so much time yeah. getting work done trying fixing it ourselves in, yeah. trying to figure out like yeah. all of the different systems yeah. and stuff you know mm -hmm. so that was really that was really nice mm -hmm. the other thing you mentioned to us earlier was you had to make a decision about like buying a house or buying a boat mm -hmm. and you chose to buy a boat is that mm -hmm. that is of, correct yeah, yeah we, you we, know so you choose this is the, there is no fallback position no. this is your house yeah right? yeah yeah we yeah. Are, actually this is the biggest purchase either of us have ever mm -hmm. made we've owned cars but yeah. we've never owned a house yeah. so yeah it's okay we've owned houses <laughs> many houses in the past and our boat was still the biggest boat <laughs> 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 so the, that, the boats are just more expensive <laughs> purchases so before the pandemic uh as we mentioned we love to travel we would frequently travel and we would kind of work um, from different places and yeah. um, then the pandemic happened and for context both of us can do our jobs remotely we're right. software engineers right. so Spend most nice. of our time coding. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, the you computer. Just need <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you just need your laptop and, you, and you, internet. Yeah, yeah. And, and you've already done that work a lot in remote places as right. long as you have exactly. an internet connection. Yes, yeah. exactly. And so you had kind of primed your <laughs> mm -hmm. employers up to be able to do that as well. Yeah, you, and, yeah. and also I think we had both practiced a lot uh, working not from the office, even when everybody was in the office, because we just did a lot of like weekends where we yeah. traveled and worked from airports or yeah. things like that um, yeah. or even working from yeah. home so uh -huh. we were pretty rehearsed at that and then we just did it for another year Weird. and a half during the whole pandemic yeah. right, okay. and um, then they got used to it right yeah, yeah. exactly and, and that was kind of the thing yeah. of we needed you know our employers to also um, be happy with us be working open to remotely. That. Yeah. right yeah. exactly yeah. Mm -hmm. does your coding the majority of your work not be time-based as and you can do it at three o'clock in the morning US time and it doesn't matter. I would agree yeah. with the majority. Uh, yeah. We have meetings with colleagues and yeah. we have colleagues in different time zones. Oh, you do already. Um, so we have colleagues yeah. in Europe and West, mm -hmm. a lot of West Coast. There's yeah. not a certain time yeah. that we start every day or that our whole team starts. It's right. just kind of all whatever. But then there's maybe, you know, one time during the day where there's a meeting, a meeting. and yeah. mm -hmm. people yeah. need to be there for that. Yeah. So really software engineering is an ideal kind of job for a, a, a flexible lifestyle. 
because you can do the majority of your work at a time that suits you, but the, with the meetings you just have to be awake if it's an antisocial hour to yeah. have that meeting. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. So you've already sailed quite extensively up and down the coast, east coast? Um, and you've lived on board now for, for a number of months? months. Yeah. yeah, about four months. You bought the How's boat. it going? Good, better, oh, and so better. Yeah. <laughs> Things get yeah. easier and easier over time. I know, it really does. You really start knowing yeah. your boat and all the different systems. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. At first, you kind of learn things, you know, one by one. And, yeah. Um, yeah. It's like climbing a mountain, but yeah. then once you're <laughs> kind of everything has, yeah. you know, either broken Connection. on you or something. <laughs> yeah. You, uh, yeah. And it's sort of like you start learning things. Like, okay, so the raw water intake clogged. Uh, clogged uh, sea strainer and um, maybe now that was the issue with that so maybe we should check that with this water yeah, engine yeah. and all of a sudden they all start to be a little bit yeah. connected you, yeah you start yeah. understanding everything works right. similar yeah, right. so. that's right yeah and we love problem solving in general that's yeah. you know part mm -hmm. of what our job is so yeah. this whole boat kind of feels like a different problem solving <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's good yeah. because we're both really motivated to learn how everything works and we've also had guests on board for the majority of the time and everybody's yeah. been really motivated as well and oh, really yeah. helpful. Yeah. So let's talk about um, where you're going sailing. Like, mm -hmm. what, are you, do you have a kind of plan or are you kind of just being flexible at the moment? I think mostly yeah. flexible but the yeah. main first goal is the Bahamas because yeah. we're so close. Right. Yeah. And it's yeah. kind of a like... Easy. Yeah, exactly. It's uh -huh. easy, and then once you're there, it's just this amazing it is. waters. It is. So it's yeah. really our <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's really our um, it's kind of our first like we're doing this in 2022. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, other huh. than that, like our sort of rough outline is just that we kind of want to spend time, you know, at least a season in the Bahamas, yeah. just sort of learning yeah. that, and then maybe once we start to feel comfortable, you know, going to different. Yeah. Um, Caribbean islands in the Caribbean, yeah. Yeah. kind yeah. of getting comfortable with that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And of course Great coming to trip. join other people on their boats in different yeah. parts of the world, like yeah. 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 Mediterranean know. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think my biggest advice would be just to not be too afraid to where it doesn't let you actually do things, whether it's going to adventure or meeting new people or, you know, trying to learn how to park a 42 foot boat. <laughs> uh -huh. um, I think and there are. down the new river in the middle of Saturday chaos. afternoon chaos and yeah, yeah. <laughs> following think, current. Yeah. And, yeah. I think there are a lot of things that you can kind of get in your head about being afraid to yeah. do, but then you just think, I can do this. And yeah. If I can't do it now, then I can learn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think that's yeah. the biggest thing that everything is teachable. I don't know if this is so much advice, but one of our lessons has been how giving and helpful all the community around mm. sailing has been. And we learned very early on from our first trip um, from Charleston to Fort Lauderdale, uh, we were having all sorts of issues with our yeah. autopilot. And so we were on the phone with um, Just Cats and BNG, and they kind of yeah. walked us through what we could do to troubleshoot mm. things. And so yeah. we were kind of opening all the like the network for the mm -hmm. electronics and yeah. unplugging things yeah. and trying things out based on their guidance yeah. and they were just willing to sit on the phone with mm. us for yeah. an hour or they however long. Incredibly busy people. <laughs> right and they I'm sure they have plenty of other people calling yeah. them asking them all sorts of stuff but um, we learned at that moment that everybody's willing to help mm. and mm -hmm. there's a lot of giving and giving back to the yeah. community yeah. Um, so it's good to leverage yeah. that if you really yeah. need to because yeah. when you're yeah. underway out in the, in the middle of ocean yeah. Um, yeah. you need that help and it's okay yeah. to get it yeah and then you exactly. just have to try to do your best to kind of give it back yeah. wherever mm -hmm. you can yeah and we hope to do that more and more over time as we yeah. get more yeah. knowledgeable but, yeah. Um, yeah 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 we know we feel like we've been so lucky to receive the amount of help that we have from you know everyone yeah. so that is a really good piece of advice yeah. to add on to it if you feel overwhelmed about the thought just know that there's a reach great out community. yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ask for advice. That's great. Yeah. I mean, this is obviously catamaran. Catamarans are probably twice or three times the price of a monohull. Mm -hmm. So if people want to get a boat and do this on a monohull, it's going to be a lot cheaper. Mm -hmm. Your decision was really, should we buy a house or should we buy a boat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was to do with your desire for adventure, was it, rather than... and a boat, But a boat's not a particularly good investment. No. No, no. Right so, now it is. Uh, yeah. I know our boat has actually gone up and down. Yeah, it has. That's right. <laughs> on, on markets these days. But, um, Thank you, Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we knew that. If you look at it from an investment perspective, I think the choices were 
keep renting for a little bit of time yeah. because we can't buy where we live mm. because things were just crazy expensive and it's yeah. not really where we want to spend the rest or you know at yeah. least five or ten years yeah. or yeah. however yeah. long to make that worth it so there's rent or buy a boat or buy a house so mm -hmm. we're kind of somewhere in the middle yeah. Yeah. where we're not throwing away all that yeah. rental yeah. Um, yeah. In, or money, money yeah. that becomes income for somebody yeah. else yeah. Um, so we're still kind of acquiring yeah. equity mm -hmm. on right. something mm -hmm. that right. we're not exactly. expecting to appreciate yeah. although it has yes. Yes. but recently. also there's the other <laughs> aspect of like investment on you know happiness and adventure right. and stuff so yes. I feel like yeah. well you might well, we might not be making as much money as we could if we had bought you know, a house and yeah neighborhood whatever mm -hmm. yeah. um we also get a lot of experiences on yeah. the boat and just yeah, kind of no, take our home yeah. to different places and another thing that's kind of i don't know if it was part of our decision or if it's more of a realization we had but um living on a boat you have to learn to become self-sufficient mm -hmm. and it's really like a, a big journey of learning mm -hmm. and yeah and you grow confidence in mm -hmm. yourself to mm -hmm. fix things or yeah. to navigate or to learn the weather or yeah. all these things that we've already started experiencing and yeah. we're yeah. looking forward to experiencing yeah. that for the and that living on a boat once you get away from marinas and high yeah, density right. areas Locations. which are expensive like florida once you get out into at anchor and living on anchor mm -hmm. the life does become an awful lot cheaper and the overheads do are, are less than living on a in a house you don't yeah. have regular rental rates or all those things you have mm -hmm. obviously anti-foul and maintenance uh -huh. which you uh, how old is this boat? Three, Three years. years old. Okay, so yeah. what you've done is you've had the boat lose its majority of the, the, the fast, the, the fast the devaluation top. time is the first few years, yeah. and then then the devaluation slows. So right. mm -hmm. boats do hold their value. So you will always have an asset. It just doesn't grow necessarily like a uh, house. <laughs> what was the most scary thing about buying a boat at your age? I don't think anything really scared us. Yeah, I think we us. were just really like, let's do this. Yeah. Okay, so it, you were driven by the yeah. dream and yeah. the, the adventure yeah. and you wanted to leave. Yeah. yeah, it kind of felt, yeah, it actually felt like once, you know, we had found this boat, we stepped on, it, everything just felt, felt so mm -hmm. natural. Uh -huh. We didn't even have a moment of, should we not do this? Is this oh, right yeah. for us? We were just immediately kind of in love with the whole okay. yeah. idea. Yeah, we, as yeah. soon as we walked away from the boat, when we first saw it, we said, yeah, this is it. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing it. There, we not, didn't have any hesitation right. or doubts or yeah. buyer's remorse or. No. Yeah. It yeah. just made sense. Yeah. yeah. No, that's fantastic. The name of this boat is going to be. Spicy. Yeah. S E A at the end. S P I S E A. What's the inspiration? We love to cook spicy food and we do. And we were thinking that we just kind of spice up our life by living on a boat. <laughs> Very fitting. Yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. punny. So yeah. It's kind of good. And good. over there, that's mild. <laughs> oh, mild spice. Okay, so do you remember what I did yesterday? How I said to the guys to look yeah. to the side and then do one, two, three and look mm -hmm. to the camera? Okay. So, so we'll look that way. Okay, one, two, three. Cool. Oh, oh, that is a really good idea. That's funny because you're like, am I doing it right? <laughs> <laughs> it distracts you from posing. It yeah. Does. That's it, a good it, idea. It, there's movement. Um, but this you, know? you will okay. have such a great life. And living on a boat, I must say, is just absolutely spectacular. As I say, once you get away from the harbors and the built up areas, you know, the lifestyle is really cheap, really enjoyable, and you've got a, just the ideal job for living and working on a yeah. boat. <laughs> Congratulations guys. Yeah. Thank and you. all the best for your sailing and and you are also a little event happening in a right, three weeks time. Yes. Yeah. So you're getting married. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations on that and have a great wedding. Thank, Thank you, you so much. It's a pleasure. Yes. Thanks for the interview. Uh, yeah. Of course Thank it's you. been a pleasure talking with you guys. Thanks yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, very good. <laughs> yeah. <Yay. laughs> You've told her that. Eh? <laughs>
Let's do that. He's got good eyes. <laughs>